the game is on when you see a light and hear a sound hello and welcome to from finland with love this is an update video of my james bond prop memorabilia collection and uh, it's been a while since i uh, did a prop video and there's some new stuff that's come in and uh, some new stuff that i've made i must say first that i'm not actively buying stuff at the moment i have a nice collection and i kind of think that my room my bond room you know it doesn't become more fantastic if i add more stuff it's just gonna be more stuff i actually spend more time nowadays uh, arranging and displaying things in different ways but anyway even if i'm not actively buying uh, making i'm passively buying and making and uh, there are some really cool new things that i have and i thought that i would show them to you and i'm gonna start with this this is a fantastic prop i got from the spy boys go and check out the spyboys.com and uh, there's a couple of guys making fantastic props and i couldn't make this because i don't have this kind of knowledge and these kind of tools but this is the james bond's attaché case knife uh, from russia we love uh, you see it there and uh, it's a fantastically beautifully made replica uh, that comes out from the attaché case like that and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can just have it on your table and open uh, letters with it or or just play with it. And uh, it comes in this really beautiful box. And uh, this one I really, really like. Super nice. Another really nice prop is from Henrik Abel from uh, Denmark. He's a prop maker also. And uh, he's made this really beautiful Drax. Uh, symbol, uh, pins, uh, brush, or what, what, whatever it's called, it's called that uh, Drax has on his suit. And uh, it's made out of metal, it's super beautiful, and it has these two buttons that you can use when attaching it. And this is uh, uh, really beautifully made. Then another fun little piece of memorabilia comes from Factory Entertainment. And this is a small version. It's kind of like um, about 70% of the size of the, the uh, real one. And uh, it's of course the golden gun from the movie, uh, The Man with the Golden Gun. And this is a solid piece. It doesn't come apart like the other ones come. Uh, that's why it's also quite cheap compared to the other ones. I think it's something like I can't remember exactly. Is it $80 or something like that? And uh, it's really beautiful. And the fun thing is that it has a really nice weight to it. And uh, you don't have to be so, you know, careful with it. So you can have it on the, on, in, in the sofa with you when you're watching a Bond movie and want to have some, something to play with. And uh, actually the proportions, I would say that they have done them a little bit differently. So this cigarette holder case is a little bit lar larger. In proportion so that you actually get a nice grip of it no one has actually mentioned that but if you compare it to the real one you can see that it's actually a little bit larger which makes it really nice to handle and it came with this really nice display you can put it on display but i of course had to make my own display so i made this kind of a box with the uh, scaramanga and uh, james bond and uh, it opens up and then you can put the gun there and I, I think this uh, I used the inner part from the box it came in and this I think makes it into a quite nice display that you can put on the wall or have standing on the table sometimes it's fun to you don't have to make props you just make some nice display to them or something this is really easy to make and uh, still fun okay this is not brand new but I still have to mention it because this was quite fun and I don't think I've ever shown it in a video so uh, from Live and Let Die, when uh, Roger Moore, James Bond, goes into this voodoo shop in uh, New York, 
he just buys something to 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 divert divert the attention of the woman selling the stuff there and he buys this and just gives it to her and asks her to to wrap it lengthwise and i wanted to make this and actually i've made a couple first my my uh, colleague biffy made two for me but then i wanted to make a couple more i actually got an order then and i've made two extras like uh, i've made many but most of them you know didn't look good so i made a couple of these that really look nice and i've made them to david sarisky i made one and actually i think i can mention it because uh, it's no secret that he's a james bond fan uh david williams from from england who's an uh x-factor judge and also also famous from the show uh little britain and also been seen in many many movies but he ordered one from me and I just had to make one. I have to mention that I don't usually take orders. I'm, it's just, you know, not fun making several and it's, it, it, this is therapy, not a job for me. So I kind of want to make one for myself and that's it. But this a couple, a couple of times I made a few and then I made them from, for a friend usually. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, this was quite fun to, to make and I learned to sew. That was the whole thing. I learned to sew because my daughter has a sewing machine and I couldn't use it and I made so many versions that didn't work out and after that I've actually bought a leather sewing machine which uh, I'm going to show something that I've done with it also <clears throat> but before that here's another one that I haven't shown this is uh, <coughs> this is a tree from GoldenEye the miniature set from GoldenEye this one I got from a friend I, I just did the, the display for it, the display case. So I, I put the stickers on and made a little bit of a snow landscape. So I think now in this, and you used to be able to buy these from Ikea. They are quite nice. My lovely colleague that also uh, taught me to sew with the sewing machine and made the first two snakes gave these to me the fantastic james bond socks from uh, the london sock exchange i think they're beautiful i haven't used them yet <clears throat> then this is fantastic it's a special edition of roger moore's diaries from live and let die and they i saw this on calvin dyson's uh, uh, video and I immediately ordered it and it's so beautiful and it's so beautifully designed I haven't read it so that's why it was also fun to fun to get it but look at this really nice embossed print uh, folio print and it's all very beautifully done and uh, you get this nice uh, envelope with some special stuff in it and also uh, there's, I mean, this book has ex existed, but now there's a special foreword, uh, a couple of them actually, and uh, with nice pictures in the middle, and it's all like printed on very nice, uh, on an old old Heidelberg letterpress machine. So it's it's really kind of it's hand bound and everything. So I think it's so beautiful, and here it's numbered. So mine is number let's see number 46 out of 300 of 350 copies made so yeah i think it's beautiful then i also had to buy this for myself this is uh, the latest james bond bible it's packed with i think it had was it a thousand more than thousand a thousand images and a lot of these behind the scenes images and that's a fantastic thing because uh, you know we are we're also people who build uh, props and stuff those are quite helpful to find those behind the scenes films when you're looking for reference material and of course it's really fun to read about behind the scenes stuff and uh, and about the movies in general so this is really beautiful and uh, I haven't now had time to read it yet. It's going to take some time. You don't have to read it like a book. You can just dive in here and there and 
enjoy it but uh, very beautiful book and I'm very happy about this so this is fun I got it from France it's uh, you have to go and check his uh, Insta Instagram account it's called making the mine and it's a guy from France who's decided to to make his own mine and he's a very big uh, GoldenEye fan from uh, playing the game on Nintendo 64 and he's made a miniature bomb and it comes with this really beautiful little uh, booklet that talks and tells about the story and everything and this is also a numbered so mine is number four out of 36 and it came in this beautiful package that also had this stamp on the package and it's uh, really nice and I'll show it to you because it's everything's like perfectly made and uh, look at this little mine and uh, in the game I, I don't remember it but it, it says so in the booklet in the game the mine is smaller than in the movie in the movie it's like it's this size but in the game it's smaller and uh, this it makes it so compact and so nice and uh, uh, it's 3d printed I assume and then built and it has a really strong magnet so I've had it on my fridge and uh, when you press it it actually vibrates and it feels really really cool because it's somehow like a little bit scary when it's vibrating all the time and uh, beautifully crafted so this I just had to order. I think it's such a fun little piece of James Bond history. <clears throat> then I have to say that I have lent out a couple of my things now for a mini exhibition. They have an 80s movie theme at uh, uh, Kino Regina in Helsinki and they have been showing uh, James Bond, a couple of older James Bond movies from the 80s. And uh, so I lent out some of my stuff to be displayed there at the cinema. So my For Your Eyes Only and my Octopus stuff is there. But um, one of my last kind of bigger builds were, was the uh, ATAC machine. And I don't have it here now. Uh, but uh, the fun thing is that this year I actually got Julian Glover's autograph on it, which was really cool. We were in London at Comic-Con and... Um, Julian Glover was there and uh, I got his autograph and uh, and then a friend of mine uh, Luca from France has also built one I've sent him some stuff some parts to it he has sent me some stuff that I couldn't find we have both built our own ATAC and now he managed to get also uh, Julian Glover's autograph on it which was quite fun so we both have that now with the with the autograph on it at the same time I also got Julian Glover's autograph on this beautiful jacket, a crew jacket from For Your Eyes Only, and it says Julian Glover on it. And I've actually uh, gotten Roger Moore's autograph on it, and uh, now I also got Julian Glover's autograph on it. So that's Roger Moore, and that's Julian Glover. So it's quite cool to have now Julian Glover's crew jacket from For Your Eyes Only signed by both of the actors then finally i have to show something that i have made myself uh, uh, i bought this leather sewing machine and i've been practicing and of course i wanted to make a you know learn to make holsters and stuff like that like cowboy holsters and so that's that's one thing but then uh, i made some bags and first made it some made some theme bags uh, a couple from Star Wars so whoops things are flying down from the shelves uh, this is uh, might see it is uh, Han Solo's bag as I kind of imagine that let's say that he bought the gun and maybe it was delivered in this and uh, it's just uh, just a fun bag and then I also made made race bag from Star Wars looks like this Okay, but these were kind of easy to make because they kind of can look a little bit like old and, and, and worn out and a little bit slapdashily made. That's a word from now on. And uh, so I wanted to make a Bond bag, but Bond's style is much more difficult. 
<clears throat> because um, I was thinking about making one from Pierce Brosnan's period and my favorite movie is uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. So I thought that let's make a bag for him. So I made this bag. This looks like a normal bag. That may be totally normal because everything's kind of, it looks like it's done for from one piece, the whole whole bag. And this is not actually, you wouldn't make it like this because this would be a huge waste of leather. So you wouldn't make it, it would be really expensive to make like this. But uh, then again, maybe Bond has a hugely expensive bag. So this is uh, stylish, kind of, you can have it with a suit or whatever, nice clothes. Uh, going to a meeting, I, I have my laptop here, but then it has a secret, of course. And uh, when you open it up, it's kind of a mission briefing bag. This is how I imagine that uh, tomorrow never dies. If, if it had a, a brief mission briefing bag, it would look like this. So there's all the car uh, details and uh, there's the phone or, or a sample of how the phone works. And then there's the, the Walter PBK embossed there. So this is a secret. Usually when I go on meetings, I open it so that people don't see what's in it. But this was kind of difficult to make because I really wanted to make it like stylishly and really kind of looking fancy. But then it has this little fun Easter egg. <laughs> so that was a fun thing to make. So these are my main updates to my James Bond collection. Uh, thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye bye.